Tracy from Doncaster Libraries and I'm delighted to be introducing World Book Day to you all today. World Book Day is a day that's set aside every year to celebrate books, reading, authors and illustrators. Do you know more than 100 countries around the world are celebrating World Book Day with you today? So why do we need a day to celebrate books and reading? What's so great about books? Well, books can make us feel happy and sad, excited and inspired. They can help us learn about other people, other places, other times and new things. They help build our vocabulary and our imagination and help us to understand ourselves and other people better. Books can take us all over the world without ever having to leave our bedroom. Books are brilliant. One of the main aims of World Book Day is to give every child a free book. In fact, today we are giving away over 14 million book tokens worth one pound that you can swap for one of our World Book Day books. So, which World Book Day book will you choose? Will you choose There's a Wolf in Your Book by Tom Fletcher? Tom has quickly become one of our favourite authors. If he's not writing about pooping dinosaurs, the Christmas saurus, or the creakers that live under your bed, he is writing about creatures that get stuck in a book, such as monsters, superheroes, aliens, dragons, and now a wolf. Or maybe you will choose Joseph Coelho's Luna Loves World Book Day book. Joseph is a poet, writer and performer who has written the most amazing poetry collections and rhyming stories. This is his third Luna Loves book. He's also written Luna Loves Art and Luna Loves Library Day. Did you know Joseph loves a library so much that he's been doing a library marathon to join a library in every region of the UK, including Doncaster? He wants to show the world how much he loves libraries and how incredible libraries are. I like this guy. Or maybe you will choose Julia Donaldson's The What the Ladybird Heard story play. Julia Donaldson has written some of our best loved children's books such as Stickman, The Gruffalo, A Squash and a Squeeze and countless others. So I'm sure this one will be absolutely fantastic too. Or maybe you will choose Gigantosaurus Dino Spot by Johnny Duddle. Johnny has previously written a lots of books about pirates, such as The Pirate Cruncher and The Pirates Next Door. But now he's writing about one of my favourite topics, dinosaurs. So this is definitely on my shortlist. Or you could swap your token for a Planet Omar book, Operation Kind by Zadie Mian. I love the first book in this series, Planet Omar, Accidental Trouble Magnet. So this is another one of my top picks. If you prefer non-fiction, Protect the Planet by Jess French is a fantastic choice. This book will teach you that by acting with kindness towards other people, plants, animals and yourself, you can help to protect the planet. That has to be good, doesn't it? Or maybe you will use your token on this beautiful book, The River Whale by Sita Brahmachari. Immy is on a mission to save a trapped river whale in the Thames. Will she be able to release it from the rubbish filled nets and guide it back to safety? I would recommend this book for Key Stage 2. It's got a mixture, it's written in a mixture of free verse and prose and it's absolutely beautiful. Catherine Rundle's Sky Steppers is another Key Stage 2 pick, set high above the streets of Paris, where a secret gang of children eat, sleep and tumble away amongst the chimney pots. Catherine has written some amazing stories, such as The Explorer and The Wolf Wilder, so I'm sure this one is going to be just as good. Now, if you want to have a book that will have you rolling around on the floor laughing, how about... Hamza Arshed and Henry White's Little Bad Man and the Radioactive Samosa. Even the title is funny. If you've read any of the other Little Bad Man books, you will know that they are wildly over the top, but so good. 
Finally, if you're a football fan, how about using your token on Football School, 20 Fantastic Football Stories by Alexander Velos and Ben Littleton. The stories include the secret behind Lionel Messi's success, the footballer who pooed on the pitch, and the greatest goat in football. Sounds good, right? I really hope that's helped you decide which free books you are going to use your token on. Another place you can get free books, of course, is the library, where you can borrow books and you can use our library apps to download ebooks all for free. If you'd like to become a library member, please go to our Doncaster Library website and click on the Join Your Library button. We hope you have an absolutely brilliant World Book Day and have lots of fun celebrating books, reading, authors and illustrators. Thanks for listening everyone. Bye!